Welcome back. Where do you begin when the key to solving a murder lies with a circle of people who are bound by a strict code of secrecy? Sounds convenient to me. Well, that's the scenario at the heart of the latest thriller by award-winning crime writer Mark Billingham. This is when a member of a therapy group is killed, apparently by another person in the group. Well, Mark joins me now. That's a tricky one, isn't it? It is, yeah. It is a very, a very difficult thing for a detective to solve, but... Perfect for a crime writer. So this is your latest latest novel? It is, yeah. It's a standalone thriller. I normally write books in a, a series featuring a character called Tom Thorne. This is a standalone one. I just moved away for... Why? Well, I think the way to keep a series fresh is to, is to do that, you know, rather than try and write, you know, just an, another instalment every year, do something different, get a fresh set of characters, and then you go back to the series a year later kind of fired up. And this was... This is a good gift to write about. Do you ever um, get bored? Of writing about the same character no. in a series. Making up stories is the best. No, but job the, in the same world. character because you've you've stepped away with this one, Die yeah. of Shame. Um, so you can you could have done something completely different and new characters. But I just wonder how much your readers demand you to kind of stick to stick to one thing that they're enjoying. Well, if you're writing crime fiction, there are certain boxes you've got to to tick. You know, it's a very long tradition going right mm. back. You know, before Sherlock Holmes even. Um, but as long as your character changes, as long as they're not the same character book after book, I mean, I, I wouldn't want to read that myself, and I'm a reader first and foremost, so my character has to keep changing every case he investigates, changes him in some way. I mean, of course it does. How can it not? You know, these are, these are nasty things we put these characters through, you know? Mm, OK. Um, this time round, though, with this book, what are you, who are you hoping to grab? Do you think it'll be the same audience, the same readers you have already. Well, I think what's interesting about this book, and I didn't know I was doing it at the time, in this book, Die of Shame, what I think I've written is a kind of classic locked room mystery, which is, you know, not something I've ever done. I'm normally kind of, you know, dark and gritty and... Uh, but it suddenly occurred to me about halfway through that that's what this was, because, as you said before, it is a kind of closed circle that's bound by confidentiality, this therapy group. So the detective in investigating it can't get any... And they're all lying. Everybody course, in the group is lying. They're, they're recovering addicts and their lies, lives are sort of, you know, governed by, by deceit and secrecy to a point, and they all sort of clam up. But the reader knows one of them is a killer, and that's the joy of it. That's well, I'm halfway through it, and I'm not going to even ask what happens at the end. Okay, well, I'm not going to tell you. Absolutely not. I do want to talk about um, two of your other no novels yeah. Time of Death and In the Dark. Yes. Interesting enough, they're, and this is how it's been described to me, and you tell me how this is working. They're being merged. <laughs> Which in itself sounds a little odd, to be made into a new television series. Yeah, well, the series, uh, which is being filmed right now, in fact, as soon as I get off the sofa, I'm going up to the set for the first time, which is going to be very exciting, because it's all being shot in and around Manchester, being made by BBC Drama North. It's called In the Dark, but it is based, as you say, on two books, In the Dark and Time of Death, both featuring this character, Helen Weeks, who is going to be the main the main character in the TV series, and I'm extraordinarily excited about that. And you have, can break some news to us now about the casting? Yeah, well, I can tell you who's in it. Yes, um, please do. The, I, uh, the main character, Helen Weeks, is being played by a brilliant actress called Miana Weeks, uh, who viewers would know from, I don't know, Ripper Street and Downton Abbey... And, here we see her ..and here. all yep. sorts of things. Um, oh, is that a picture? Oh, yeah, it's exciting. Yep, yep. Um, uh, we've also got Ben Batt, who was in The Go-Between. We've got... Ashley Walters, who was in Cops, and, and wonderfully, I'm very excited about an actor called Matt King, who, who viewers from, will know as Superhands in the brilliant Peep Show. He's playing a character of Michael Phil Hendricks, who's been in all my books, so I'm very excited about that. Yeah, you say you're excited. Did you have any influence over the Yeah, casting? I'm involved. I'm involved. They, they let me go on the set and sit there if I stay very quiet. And I have got a cameo. I've got to go back again next week and say some words right, okay. on screen. Did you invent the character just for no. your cam cameo? Did no. you <laughs> just, <laughs> just so I could do it. I'm going to be holding a copy of my book all after and pointing at it. I wrote this. <laughs> um, uh, no, it is... Yeah, I, I get to see all the scripts and I'm kind of... You know, Are you I'm involved in, in the script writing? Uh, no, it's being, adapted, it's being adapted by a brilliant writer called Danny Brocklehurst who wrote yeah. Ordinary Lies and You're not looked over his shoulder and just got... Well, like, in a way, I'm over... Not literally over his shoulders, but, you know, I get sent the script and I get to you know, send notes in and that kind of thing. So I'm more involved than, than a lot of writers are, which can... Some writers just say, don't get involved at all, because you just step away then, and then you just turn up at the, at the BAFTAs, darling, and... Uh... <laughs> but it's your baby, isn't it? That's yeah, what I, I kind of... I, I would... I, personally, I would find it very difficult to let go of it. Well, you have to, though, because no, nobody makes you... Nobody makes you sell a book to television, and when television comes calling and says, you know, the BBC knock on your door and say, we'd like to make this into a drama, what am I going to say? I'm thrilled, of course. Thrilled for you as Thank well. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming in and Thank talking you very to me much. about it. Now, Mark's book is called Die of Shame. That's it for today. I'll be back with you again tomorrow from six with Ben alongside me. Have a lovely day.